Hi guys, welcome to another bit of an unboxing video or an unbagging video, a bit of a yarn stash video um, from Hobium today. I want to share some yarns that I have got and want to talk about them and have a look at them and see if there's anything that you fancy and maybe introduce you to something new. So I've got a quite a big bag here from Hobium and um, so let's have a look. Let's begin with the first yarn. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, so the first yarn I'm going to introduce you to is, let's take out the bag, is Kartopu. And I keep saying this in a Japanese way because I'm so used to speaking some Japanese that um, I just pronounce this Kartopu. <laughs> um, but this is a yarn company that's actually um, been working in the textile industry apparently since, uh, was it 1952 that I read this morning. Um, but this yarn is a felting yarn, so felting wool prints. So let's have a look at what it's made from. So it's 100% wool, obviously, which is really great for felting. I don't know much about felting. I've actually never done any felting. But if you're really into felting, this might be of interest to you. Um, you can obviously knit and crochet with it. And it's recommended to have a 5 or a 5, 6 millimeter hook or needles and you get about 109 yards with this yarn so it's a hand wash only yarn obviously because if it's a felting yarn it means it's going to felt very easily so you're going to have to if you wash it you can have to hand wash it and be very very gentle with it if you don't want to felt it because it's going to felt very easily so this is uh this yarn the felting wool print uh, by kartopu kartopu <laughs> cannot say that there we go Wooroo, wooroo. <laughs> so it's 100% wool and um, this colour, this particular colour I've got here it doesn't have an actual name, it's just the colour D2236 so if you're interested in this colour but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour I hope it shows up well on this very dull day in the UK but it's um, quite an autumnal colour lots of sort of plums and purples in there hints of maybe some browns in there too it's a really nice sort of very variegated yarn is that the word so it's going to change color as you work through it. and what I really like about this actually is they've got a little tag on the beginning yarn so you don't spend hours having to find it I just thought you know more yarn companies should do that so that is a felting a wall print yarn 100 gram balls so let's have a look at what else I've got in my big bag of yarn delight shall we so let's put that to the side now this next yarn I can find a couple of these and this yarn I'm really intrigued by actually um, it's from the Lamia range at uh, Hobium Yarns so which is one of their um, hand knitting yarns as well I showed some of these in my last video the Lamia range um, lots of cottons and some acrylics and stuff some really nice um, really nice yarns this is part of their Lamia range but it's called paper soft and I'm not going to try and pronounce that <laughs> um, but this is made from so it's 70 percent polyester and 30 percent vis viscose this particular color is like another sort of purpley plummy color um, but again doesn't have a name just has a number l039 if you're interested but what's really really interesting about this yarn is it it feels like paper it's really bizarre it doesn't feel like typical yarn um, it feels more like a sort of thicker version of crepe paper um, or a thick version of like tissue paper so it's really really unique it's very soft it's not like sort of hard or paper or anything like that. it does feel soft um, so it's a really unusual yarn to work with um, so yeah I'm gonna come up with some interesting project ideas I think for this yarn I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use it for yet but uh, it might be good for maybe making bags or baskets things like that for a much tougher yarn because it feels quite a tough yarn so that is the Lamia Paper Soft Yarn, which might be of interest to you for something a bit different. And it's a hand wash yarn. They recommend a sort of five to six hook and needle size. And how much do you get? You get 135 meters, 147 yards, and it's 150 gram balls. So it's uh, quite a big ball of yarn. So there we go. So that's that yarn. Let's see what else we've got, have we? Let's have a look. Now, this yarn, I love the look of this yarn. This, again, is going back to the Kartopu range of yarns. And this is one of their Elite Wall Prints. 
yarns. These colours are absolutely gorgeous. Again, very autumnal colours that I've got here. And this yarn is made from, let's have a look. So this is actually a mix of acrylic and wool. So it's about 50% acrylic, 50% wool, 49% wool, 51% acrylic. And um, again, this yarn, how much do you get? This this particular color, this, these shades here, these sort of greens, purples, and some blues. I, I really love these yarns because they're really fun to work with when you're making, say if you're making like a shawl or a blanket, can get a little bit repetitive and a bit boring after a while but if you want to mix it up um, and make it a lot more fun these yarns are great because they change color as you work through the project so it can get quite I don't know if I'm just really sad but I get very excited when the next color starts to come through it's, uh, it's really good fun so that's what I like about these yarns but you get 220 meters um, with this yarn so you get you get quite a lot of yarn per ball and it's a th you can wash it at 30 degrees so and it's about a sort of four to five size hook or needle. And this particular color is H1912. So again, no particular names for the yarns. But um, I'm trying to find out the sort of weight of the yarns. So this, I mean, if it's a five to six, that's going to be sort of like almost like a chunky weight yarn, isn't it? So I'm just trying to see if there's anything actually on here that talks about the weight doesn't actually there's no indication on the way to the yarn which I actually find a little bit annoying sometimes on labels but because you have to then go by the needle or hook size but it feels more like a chunky weight yarn um, so maybe a thick worsted weight yarn for that one this one here this going back to this one the paper soft this doesn't really give an indication it's a, it's a, it's a yarn weight of five so that's going to be a chunky bulky weight yarn this particular one which makes sense so these look similar a little bit thinner than the chunky bulky bulky weight and this particular this going back to this one as well this one is even thicker so this is going to be more of a super bulky super chunky yarn i would say but again there's no indication particularly of the weight no. All these yarns are made in Turkey because Hobium is a Turkish company. And let's move on to the next yarn, shall we? Let's have a look at the next one, which is one of my favourite yarns, which I'm quite excited to work with. And I've got a few different colours of these because I want to make a project. Okay, I think that's all the colours. So this next yarn I'm going to show you, which unfortunately the label's got ripped in the post. But this is a, a linen cotton yarn. So I've got a few colours of these. Um, I've chosen sort of a mixture of autumn colours with got some like bright colours there as well. Let's pick you, pick a label that doesn't look crease too much. But again, this is part of the Lemi range. And as the name suggests, this yarn is made from linen and cotton. And uh, so this would be a really good yarn for making washcloths with, with cotton and stuff. So, But also for clothes, I think, as well. Just little 50 gram balls, 120 meters. You get quite a lot for a 50 gram ball. And um, it's made from 70% cotton and 30% linen. So it's more um, cotton than it is linen. And it's a weight, yarn weight of three. So that's going to be like a DK light worsted weight yarn. And so you're gonna need sort of three to four size hook needle size now I, I don't think I would go as low as 2.5 personally for a yarn weight of three I would stick to I would actually use a 3.5 crochet hook for a DK weight yarn um, but you can create a lot of different effects with using different hooks and needle size you have to remember when you see these on yarns they are just a guide they are not what you have to use okay because a lot of my projects you know I've used um, a sock yarn a really thin yarn before with quite a big hook size like a size five and it can work sometimes you can create different drapes and if you're if you've got a yarn and it's really tight and you're you're really struggling with it looking quite stiff then just keep upping the hook size um, or needle size if you knit and uh, it can make the drape a lot more softer so that's always a little little trick for you and you can watch this one at 30 degrees 
and I think that's about it for these yarns. So I've got a five colours here. So I've got this gorgeous green lime colour, which I'm totally into right now. I know everyone's into mustard, but I'm into lime green at the moment. And uh, I actually bought a little succulent plant the other day and it had the exactly same colour lime green little stones on in its little pot, which is really nice. Um, so I'm totally into this colour right now. And this colour is, let's tell you what it is, it is colour L186, so I don't have names, just numbers and letters. L186 for this green, and it uh, feels really soft this yarn, but it's got that linen feel as well, which I really like. And this sort of sky bluey grey colour is L187. And this is like a sort of peachy cream colour, not sure how much the peachiness is coming out on camera, it looks more dull on camera, but it's L056. And we've got a sort of autumnal, sort of pale, washed out orange colour. I would describe this one as. It looks a little bit more bland on camera. Off camera it looks a little bit more vibrant. Um, but this is L151, so a bit of a pumpkin colour there. And this last sort of pinky colour is so look, L198 for these colours. So I'm going to probably design some washcloth patterns, I think, to use with these yarns. Just some simple little products, because I think these colours, if you imagine as little washcloths put together, they would make a real nice little combination of colours. So I'll come up with a little design, a little simple washcloth pattern, then we'll re come back to these and have a bit of a tutorial on those, I think. So that's the linen cotton yarn, which is one of my favourites. Um, I haven't really talked about the squish factor of these, have I, all the soft? These are really, they are really soft. It's got that sort of linen feel as well, sort of, um, I don't know how to sort of, more like a sort of an Egyptian cotton feel, it's quite soft. Um, it's not like brushed cotton or anything, so it's quite a, still a soft cotton. This one feels a little bit more rough, um, this is because obviously when you've got wool they can feel a little bit more um, tougher. But it's still got a nice soft squish factor, so this will make a wonderful scarf or a nice sort of woolen winter hat. This would be absolutely perfect, or a shawl or something like that, or even a bag. Although I think if you used it for a bag, it would probably go quite bobbly after a while because it's obviously got the wool. Um, but no, that's a lovely yarn as well. This one is even softer than this one. This one is a lot softer. And as you can see, obviously doing a felting yarn. But I think you, you could have a bit of a Dickens with this, if a um, bit of trouble with this, if you wanted, if you're making something that you need to wash. So, because obviously it will felt quite a bit. If you're really into felting, this will be absolutely fantastic, especially for things like scarves, bags, anything uh, I think would go with that yarn. It's gorgeous, I love that one. And this one is, because it's the uh, paper soft yarn, it's got a more of a toughness to it, more like a sort of, tough sort of paperness to it. It really does feel like a paper yarn, um, but I think this will work wonderful uh, using for baskets and things like that, or things for the home. And the last yarn though, let's have a look at the last yarn, is an organic cotton yarn. So if I can make some room. I've got a few of these. Some different colours. Yep, lime green again. <laughs> some pinks. These are still clinging on to summer, just about, but you'll be pleased to know I got a mustard colour as well. <laughs> it actually looks a lot greener on camera. But this is going back to the Kartopu, Kartopu, Kartopu range, and it's an organic yarn. So if we zoom in, it's made from 100% Egyptian cotton and uh, it's approved for babies. So this feels really, really smooth. This feels quite um, quite a posh yarn, this one. It's really nice. 100% cotton, obviously. And um, it can be washed at 30 degrees. And it recommends, again, it doesn't talk about the weight particularly, um, but it recommends sort of ranging from two up to four size. I would I would say this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, I would say, and um, yeah, you could use anything from two up to four, I'd say even more than that if you wanted to, depending on what you were making, and you get 125 metres, did I talk about how much, how long you get with this, I don't know if I did, how many metres do you get with this, 50 gram ball, 120 metres, and again this is another 50 gram ball, 125 metres, so there we go, that's the organic cotton 
and these feel very quite luxurious very soft very smooth and um no, they, they sort of feel quite posh <laughs> if I say so and um, I've got a selection of colours here we've got these sort of creamy yellowy colours and again they don't have specific names just just numbers so K272 and K1312 and so this one's more of a, a creamy colour so it's it's it looks more sort of yellowy on camera but off camera it is more um, sort of peachy I would say and this one looks quite yellow on camera and it, I would say it's like a very washed out banana colour um, with a little bit more orange in so it's looking quite yellow on here and of course we've got this is quite an accurate representation on and off camera this lime green and this one which is my favourite is K494 for the green colour and we've also got a really gorgeous pink colour so we've got some awesome colours with um, this yarn, a real sort of mixture of autumn colours and baby colours, summery colours. So this pink is represented quite well on camera. Actually, it's a little bit dark on camera, a little bit more brighter in real life. This is K244, and then the purple, which actually looks more blue on camera, but it is more purpley. Nice baby purple, pastel purple. K1717. So there we go. And what else we got? We got the a pinky colour with a sort of slight hint of brown in there that's K1765 and last but not least the mustardy colour which looks quite green on camera but it is more but it looks more like gold in real life so it's not as green as this um, it's really hard to show but it is more literally more like gold like a nice sort of Indian gold colour it's uh, it's really nice and this one is a K1358 yeah coloured yarn yeah. So there we go. So that's my little um, Hobium yarn haul with some Kartopu yarns and some Lamia yarns. And uh, you can go to their website um, at hobium.com and or hobiumyarns.com, which I think is their English version. I'll put the English version link in the description below. I'll also put the Turkish link as well in case you're from Turkey. And uh, this also came, they came, came with some stickers as well, which my daughter has totally stolen, so I can't show you those, but um, got a little pom-pom maker as a freebie in there as well. And this, which I thought was so sweet, made with love. So it's a little little label that came free with it as well, with love hobium, which I think is so cute. So there we go, that's my little hobium haul for this month. And um, you may see some tutorials showcasing some of these yarns very soon. I'm thinking of some, like I said, some washcloths with the linen yarn. And I was thinking, I was thinking, yes, an amigurumi project with these cotton yarns. A nice amigurumi project um, I think would be really, really nice. What do you think? What do you guys think? What do you think I should make? Let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun and uh, thanks for watching. Bye right, guys! Just as I was packing away as well, I completely forgot one of the yarns to show you. It's this huge jersey it just sat on my desk. Um, so I thought um, I'd best just add it to the end of the video. It's another Carl Topper yarn, jersey yarn it's called, and it's a super fun yarn. Check out these gorgeous fiery colours. And uh, this, is, this is such a fun yarn. It's a really big squishy yarn and uh, let's have a look so this gorgeous color range of purples yellows orange pinks purples is h1405 it really needs a name it really does i think i call it fiery ball it's gorgeous um, but it's 80 percent acrylic and the rest of it's stuck onto the label label but it's let's see if i can ah do this one handedly but the rest is 20 percent wool so it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So it's got a bit of wool in there. And it's a 200 gram ball, so you get 360 meters. So you get a nice good amount. So one of these would definitely make a shawl for you, I would imagine. And you can wash this at 30 degrees. And it is definitely a nice chunky yarn, bulky yarn. So nice five to six um, size needles or hook. Yeah, up to five up to six I would say I would probably go with a five to six I would yeah and that's obviously it's not a pattern that comes with it but it's an example of what you could make but I think I like how the stripes come out so that shows you the effect this yarn has so maybe I should design 
a fun scarf pattern or shawl pattern with this what do you think let me know in the comments below but that's their kartopu jersey yarn and uh, yeah so let's not forget that one that's one of my favorites that's why it was separate <laughs> silly me anyway see you soon bye <laughs>